second graders, we are going to be doing some more math. It's kind of review, and we're also kind of kicking it up a little notch, mm -hmm. not too much. Yeah, right. Well, they can do it. Oh yeah, you guys are super <laughs> smart. You you got this. So as I'm looking at these problems, I'm noticing one thing that's different. Mm -hmm. Do you see what's different? It looks like we have more numbers to add this time. Yes. Is that true? You're right. Okay. Yesterday and all of the previous days we've been practicing this, we've usually had two numbers up top and only one number on the, the bottom. Mm -hmm. But today we're having a two digit number on top and a two digit number on the bottom. Okay. But that doesn't really change very much. Okay. All of our steps are the same. We're still gonna start in the ones place. We're still gonna draw that arrow. Okay. Send our friends over to Mr. Tenzatic if we need to. We just end up having one extra number to add at the end. Oh. I'm gonna show you. Okay. Don't worry. All okay. right. I'm not going to panic. Don't panic. All right. Yes. I'm just gonna listen and learn. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you, Miss Marquardt, mm -hmm. whenever we add, uh -huh. where do we start? Always, 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 always start in the ones. Yes. See, so far so good. Okay. So we're gonna forget about those tens and look at our ones. And a good way to help us remember is that we draw our arrow. And that arrow shows us that we're gonna add nine plus four to get our answer. Can you add nine plus four for me? I can. I know that 10 plus four is 14, so nine plus four must be 13. You are correct. So if I know that nine plus four is 13, and I do have two digits that I need to place in my answer, mm -hmm. I'm ready to get started, okay? So I have 13. I notice that I have a group of 10 that isn't gonna fit in my ones house that I'm gonna have to sit next door to Mr. Tens. So I'm gonna take that one in the tens place and I'm gonna bring it over to Mr. Tens attic. And then I'm gonna look at the number I have left in the ones place, which is a three. And those three friends get to stay in our uh, ones house. So I'm gonna put that down here in the answer. Okay, so I have placed my numbers. Now I'm ready for the last step, which isn't that much different. I'm still adding everything in the tens house all together. I'm just gonna add three numbers this time instead of two. Oh, so I'm gonna okay. start by adding one plus two, which is uh, three. And then I'm gonna add that extra two, five. five. Yes, one plus two is three, three plus two is five. Oh. So 53. That wasn't nearly as bad as no. I had thought. Do you want to give one a shot? Sure, I'd love okay. to. Anyone you want. Go ahead. Oh boy, I'm gonna do this one. Okay. Okay, so I'm taking a look at my ones first, so I'm not worried about the tens. I'm going to draw my arrow, and I'm looking at eight plus five. Hmm, I know eight plus four is 12, so eight plus five is 13. Hey, oh, just like mine. You had 13 yeah. also. That's cool, that might help me. All right, I know that this is a way too big of a party for the ones house, so mm -hmm. I'm going to take that group of 10. They can go sleep in Mr. Ten's attic with the cobwebs. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take this number three, which is in our ones place, and keep it as my answer. Okay, this is the part that's new from what we've been learning so far because we have those three numbers that we need to add, like you mentioned. Well, I know that one plus three is four, and then I have another four to add to that. So four plus another four, that's a doubles fact, so it's eight. You did it! So my final answer, 83. I'm so proud of Not you. Not so bad. That was very good. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna flip this page over so that we can talk to the kids about the back while you erase those problems. All right. I feel pretty good. You should, that was yeah. impressive. Okay, um, I'm gonna borrow this real quick from you. I'm not gonna do these with you because it's the same exact problems that we just showed you on the other side, but there is one more step. You know that when you send a group of tens to the attic of Mr. Ten's house, like they did on this problem, that it's called regrouping. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're regrouping. We're taking one group of tens and putting them in Mr. Ten's attic and taking them out of the ones house. So if you end up needing to do that, mm -hmm. so when I added this problem together, nine plus three, I ended up getting what? 12. 12. So because there's two numbers here, I had to take my group of tens up to the attic, mm -hmm. 
my ones got to stay here. By putting that group of tens in the attic, I just regrouped. Oh, okay. So anytime you have to bring someone to Mr. Ten's attic, that means you're regrouping. Yes. Oh. So if you end up putting a group of tens in the attic, you need to circle yes, okay? Because that means you regrouped. And then they ended up adding one plus three plus four to get eight. We're gonna tell you right now that you don't have to regroup on all of these problems on the back of the page. Some of them, when you add up your ones, um, are just gonna stay a single digit number and you will not have to send any friends to Mr. Ten's attic. If you don't have to send friends to Mr. Ten's attic, you're gonna end up circling no because that means you did not regroup. And that's all you have to do on the top of the back of the page. I'm gonna have her erase this really quick and we're gonna explain the last two problems on this page. So number five is a word problem. It says Leah counts 38 red paper cups and 25 blue paper cups. How many paper cups did she count in all? So I remember a couple weeks ago that we did a whole week on word problems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Uh, and that was a clue word to tell us that we're gonna be adding. So we're just gonna take the two numbers in the problem, 38 and 25, and we're gonna place them correctly in um, over here in the tens and the ones house. 38 and then 25, and then you guys are gonna finish that problem add it together and figure out how many paper cups she ended up having in all. That's number five. Here we go with our challenge for the day. Number six is a lot harder. So let's see what it says. Use the clues to solve the riddle. Okay, this is a mystery number that we have to figure Ooh, out. I love mystery using these clues. I am between 24 and 34. Okay. They give us a number line to help us eliminate the answers that can't possibly be right. I'm gonna help you out with the first one and then we'll just read the other clues, okay? So if I am between 24 and 34, I have to be higher than 24 and less than 34, right? Oh yeah. So I can't be anything that's lower than 24. So I'm gonna cross 23 down off because okay. it has to be between 24 and 34. So if it's one of these numbers, it can't be higher than 34. So I can cross all of those numbers off. Look, I'm only left with like the middle portion of this line. Mm. Okay, so you say my name when you count by twos from zero. Mm. I'm just curious, I'm gonna do that for a second and see what I get, zero. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34. Oh, I heard some of them like in that section. You know what I realized? Mm -hmm. Every number that I said uh -huh. was an even number. It was. It ended in zero, two, four, six, or eight. Mm -hmm. You're right. So if it doesn't end in those, and I'm not gonna do that for the mm -hmm. kids. No way, it's a challenge. Then they're gonna have to cross those off if it doesn't end in a zero, two, four, six, or eight. Let's look at the other one. You say my name when you count by fives from zero. Let's count by fives. Can you count by fives from zero? Sure. Zero, uh -huh. five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, well, we don't need to go that high. No. So one of the numbers you just said, when mm -hmm. you counted by fives, which means it has to end in a five or a zero, mm -hmm. must be the answer. Huh. So what number am I? You use the clues here to figure out which is the correct number, eliminate it if it doesn't fit the clues. It's a hard one, it's a challenge. So if you can get it, good luck. 